Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Well, I've got another fantastic product for you to have a look at today. And uh, as always, like I say, on this channel, I only review products that I think are going to be worth your while. They're going to be worth your hard earned money, so to speak. And this one definitely is. Now, Quickly, what this is, is a phone adapter. Now, this is a phone adapter that you can put uh, your, your, your phone into and then use it in conjunction with your telescope. Uh, now, I don't know if you've ever tried to take photographs uh, just directly with your uh, phone before. You put it up to the eyepiece, you see the moon, you put it up to the eyepiece, and it, it's very, very difficult. You can do it, uh, but it's not, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Well, this little gadget here makes life so much easier in so many ways and just walks rings around its competitors, uh, other phone adapters that you may have seen on the market. Now, this little uh, adapter comes from a company called Move Shoot Move and they've really made an excellent job in build quality, the way this thing works and everything. Now, for a start, it's all metal construction. Now, this gives you straight away confidence with your uh, expensive phones. Now, we all know how expensive these things can be. And uh, having this all metal um, just gives you that little bit more uh, confidence in using it. Uh, because I don't know if you've ever used one of the cheaper plasticky ones. I'll put some uh, images up of the ones I'm trying to talk about. Now, they're great. They do the job. And I've used one of those for years. But there is a big but with those. They come with a big danger sign. And that is, you will drop your phone. Um, <laughs> because... the. the this eliminates any danger of dropping your phone with the controls, which I'll get to in, an, in a minute. Uh, but um, with the old type of uh, phone adapters, there were so many adjustments that you had to do manually um, that it, it's all right while you're sat under artificial light, but out in the dark, you know, you're moving the, uh, the adapter about the amount of times that you can accidentally knock your phone out of the uh, cradle that holds it. I've done it twice now and ruined two phones. <laughs> so let me explain why this is so special. Well, first of all, let's just show you, because some of you may not have never used one of these and, and don't know ex exactly what, how, how to go about using one, but uh, we'll get into that right now. Now, the first thing you, you need to do is, uh, well, I don't suppose there is a, a, a first way, but this is for your eyepiece. This this particular part is to clamp to your eyepiece. Um, it's always best to uh, do this separately than actually doing it while it's in situ with the telescope, I would say. Now, all you do then is you place your eyepiece into there, okay, and we, we clamp it down. And make sure that that's well clamped in. Uh like that okay and as you can see the eyepiece is now well secure in there again in the um, in the cheaper ones when you place the eyepiece in wow they do they feel unsafe and as you can see with this you know there's no way that's going anywhere um the second stage is to Put your mobile phone in now depending on where your camera is uh, and which camera it is and this is again this is where all these little controls on this make it so much easier to uh, to align everything up um, because it is really important that you get this camera spot on um, with the eyepiece itself you know centered with the eyepiece otherwise you're just going to get a black screen or a half moon screen or something like that uh, so, we place this camera, uh, this phone, sorry, roughly where the, uh, where it's going to be on the thing. And I can't remember which, which lens is working on here, because uh, phones these days, they have multiple lenses, don't they? And uh, as you can see with this, oops, using the wrong one. As you can see with this uh, little knob here, this will lock your phone in place like that. All right, now I've got that eyepiece a little bit too far in. So I'll just um, take that out a little bit like that uh, and clamp it back down like that. Okay. So that's your basic setup like that. Now, the next step is, is to switch your camera on. 
So we'll do that. Uh, camera, camera, camera. Here's our camera. Now, as you can see, we're not quite lined up. Now, what you want is a perfectly uh, round um, circle, if you like, on the screen there. Now, this is where all this is where this really does come into play. This thing, because on the old ones, now what we'd have to do now is manually move it left and right here. We'd have to move the eyepiece in and out to get it right. Once everything's locked in, that's it, it's locked because it's got slow motion controls that do all this for you. So, let's get the camera sorted out. Now then, getting these uh, all orientated. So we need to go up and down now. Right, so, going through them. Now this one at the bottom here, this is gonna move the phone up and down that way, all right? Uh, this, this one here, on this side, that's going to move the eyepiece that way and that way. So it's going to move across this way or that way. Okay. And that, that's it. Up, down, left, right. Now, they're, they're, they're the mo mo two most important ones first. So we'll just get that. Uh, it's hard to film and see at the same time. So as you can see now, I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Just by turning this one at the bottom, that's moving the moving it closer to the eyepiece. Now that's about pretty much where we need to be. But where the game changer for me for this comes into it is this little adjustment here, the red one. Uh, <laughs> I think the reason done it red say, yeah, this is the game changer. This is the one that's going to really make your life so much easier. Because I'll, I'll keep referring back to the old style ones, the manual ones, as I'm going to be referring to it. This is where the trouble always come in. It was to get this distance from your eyepiece to your camera lens was a nightmare, for want of better words. And this is where you, you did the most damage where, because you'd, you'd either, what you usually have to do is undo that, uh, your eyepiece clip, and bring it in and out. Now... Obviously, this would be attached to your telescope. So we've got a telescope here. That's a little uh, SV bone here, but it'll do for demonstrations. So that'd just be attached to your telescope like that, okay? And what you would have to do is undo this usually for your eyepiece and move the entire thing in and out manually. And now when you're in the dark, you can take that over to a little bit too far, clamp it down, and before you know it, your phone's on the floor. <laughs> so this is where the game changer comes in for me because if we alter this one now, what you'll see is this actually moves the phone in closer to the eyepiece by turning it anti-clockwise. And turning it clockwise will move it away from the eyepiece. Now, unless you've actually used one of these, like I say, the manual ones, you have no idea how much of a time saver and frustration saver that little adjuster is there. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, you, you're all set to go. Now, every phone is different. Like I say, every phone has a lens in different places. And this will just find it, basically. Uh, yes, it will work with any phone, um, even the small ones, old, old, small, thin ones, right up to the uh, good, fat, wide ones. Uh, I can't remember what the maximum span of this is, but um, it, it, it'll, it, there won't be a phone that it won't. Obviously, it'll not going to fit a tablet or anything like that, but your standard mobile phone, it's going to work with. And as you can see, once all this is locked, none of this is going anywhere. <laughs> it's so not even really rattling apart from the loose uh, <laughs> focusing knobs here but this thing is solid it's built like a tank and uh, you know that's what you need when you when you're out in the dark you don't want to be fumbling around especially when you're using like like I say an expensive phone that can fall on the floor now it's always a good idea to familiarize yourself with all the different knobs and everything uh, and the only one you haven't got to touch is this one once you're all so, sorry this one once you're all set up now 
feeling at it, I think that's the only plastic thumb screw on there. I think that's the only thing that's plastic on this entire assembly. But that's a good thing in the dark, because you know if I feel in plastic, leave that one alone because my phone's going to be on the floor. <laughs> Rest of them, your little adjustments, they're all there for you to go. And uh, I've used this a few times now, and I can't tell you how, <laughs> how much whack. It's just so easy to use. And... Um, if you are um, starting or thinking about starting astrophotography, mobile phone astrophotography, to me, is the gateway into it, into the world, the whole <laughs> can of worms that is astrophotography. Uh, because trust me, just doing mobile phone uh, astronomy can be a little bit challenging at the times, um, even with a, a good adapter like this. So it's a good gateway into uh, getting into and doing some great photographs. And don't think that you can't just take photographs of the uh, moon. Uh, you can take photographs of the planets, and even deep sky targets with a phone adapter. Now, admittedly, with deep sky targets, you are going to need to do it on a slight time exposure. I, I usually do about five seconds. And you would, you don't have to, but it does help to have a very simple motor-driven uh, telescope, uh, like a motor drive. Um, my Skywatcher that you've seen on the videos, that is a very, very simple. It's, it's not, it's, it's, they're only really designed to keep the object in the field of view. They're not really precise enough for astrophotography. Well, not serious amounts of astrophotography anyway, because they, they start losing it after about five seconds or something like that. They'll start you'll start getting trails so to say but <laughs> that's my little lecture on uh, <laughs> astrophotography but you can actually take fantastic photographs i'll flash a few up now of what i've taken with a phone adapter and a phone um and like i say you're not you're not going to get superior you know photographs like you see on the internet you know <laughs> you're not going to get anything like that because that's uh, you know a different type of astrophotography this is what's called or what we used to call a focal photography and it's just where you're using instead of using your eyepiece uh, sorry using your eye uh, you're using the a camera as your eye so you're still using an eyepiece you're still using a telescope and exactly the same setup no other fancy cameras are needed um and you're all set to go to take some uh, great photographs. Now, um, obviously you're going to need a telescope to use one of these. But if you haven't got a telescope, this will still work with binoculars. So if you've got a pair of binoculars kicking around, well, no problem at all. This will fit onto binoculars also. Now, as always, I will leave uh, links in the description of where you can get one of these from. Um, like I say, I'll, I'll, you don't need any other phone adapter once you've got one of these. Uh, I'm so, so uh, impressed with it. Uh, yeah, 10 out of 10 to uh, the team at uh, Move. I always forget what it is. It Move, Move. I'll flash it up. I, I forget. It's just so, Move, Shoot, Move. I think I'm, that's, that's it, isn't it? Move, Shoot, Move. Oh, it also comes in this uh, rather nice little storage carrying bag, cloth bag, cotton bag, uh, which is a nice little touch. So that's about all I can say about this uh, amazing little device. Uh, get one if you if you're just starting, like I say, in astrophotography or into uh, phone um, astronomy. Um, I would advise not getting one of those cheap uh, little adapters. Now, like I say, I have, I've used one for a couple of years, but I will never go back now. You know, once you've uh, once you've tried one of these, I mean, it's so so easy to use. Um, so that's about it, folks. Uh, thank you so much to Move Shoot. I've forgot, nearly forgot it again. <laughs> move Shoot, Move Shoot, Move. <laughs> and uh, many apologies to you also because this is a, a product that I've, I've had, admittedly, for a couple of months now, and I've just got round to actually putting a video out about it. Uh, but I can't tell you how impressed I am with it. it it's a, it's a great little product. Um, also, folks, don't forget, um, I did do on my last video a, a little uh, questions. Now, because of my subscriber count now, I mean, it's 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 up there now. And uh, I do struggle to get to everybody, like I said on my last video, to answer questions. 
Uh, but if you go onto my uh, my community page on my main channel, uh, you can post your questions there because what I'm going to do, and I've already got enough for a video, and in fact, that's probably going to be my next videos. Thank you to anybody that's already sub submitted a um, question uh, on uh, on that page. I have read them. Don't don't worry. Um, I have. I'm going to get round to them all. And uh, so, like I say, if you have got a question, leave it on my community page. I'll get round to it. I'm going to make, like I say, I'm going to make it a regular thing once a month, once a fortnight, once a week, if I get, that, if I get enough. And uh, we'll make a video on answering all your questions. Well, that's about it for another video, folks. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, all the rest of it. I'm sure you've all, you know all the jingo by now. <laughs> well, until the next one, folks, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.